Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Google recently announced some new features that are super exciting for Google Classroom, Docs, Slides, Meet, and Chrome. Extremely excited. So in this video, I'm gonna share a basic overview of each feature so you know what to expect and can start brainstorming how you might use them. We are gonna start with Google Classroom features. These will be available for those with a teaching and learning upgrade or a Google Workspace for Education Plus account, and they will be rolling out in the coming weeks. First up are practice sets, which essentially use AI or artificial intelligence to transform existing content into interactive assignments for students that will offer real-time support. From the teacher view, as you add questions to a practice set, you will see suggestions for skills to focus on. Based on the skills you select, students will then receive hints if they get stuck along the way. The AI will also help you identify gaps in understanding at both the class level and student level, so you can then tailor your future instruction. Plus, practice sets can also be shared with other users in your domain, so it makes collaboration super easy. As I mentioned, these will will be available in English in the coming weeks with plans to expand to more languages in the future. Next up are interactive questions for YouTube videos. Essentially, you will be able to add questions to YouTube videos that students will respond to, and you can assign these on Google Classroom. The great thing is this will be a self-paced activity for students. They can watch the video, answer the questions, get real-time feedback, and even go back and re-watch parts of the video if needed. Plus, you will get insights about their progress, such as questions that they are missing. So again, you can target future instruction. Now, if you are interested in being part of the beta for this, there is a Google form you can fill out and I will have that linked for you down in the description box. And the final Google Classroom feature will be organizing assignments across grading periods. This new feature will allow you to sort grades and assignments in Google Classroom by quarter, semester, or term. So it's just a way to keep things a little bit more organized. Moving on to Google Docs features, and these will be available to Education Plus users. First, we have custom building blocks. And yes, I am very excited about this feature. If you watched my Google updates for 2022 video, which if you haven't, that will be linked for you down below. But I mentioned building blocks, which are essentially templates you can add into a Google Doc. However, at that time, you could only choose from some pre-made templates such as mini notes or an email draft, which was great, but I even mentioned in that video, it would be awesome to be able to save your own templates in there. And with this new feature, you will be able to design your own templates and save them as a building block for future use. The possibilities with this are endless from creating lesson plan templates to worksheet or activity templates, all in all, it's going to be a huge time saver for teachers. Next are timer and stopwatch chips, which are actually rolling out now. If you're not familiar with chips, at least within Google Docs, we're all familiar with chips. Really like chips. Make sure you go back and watch that Google updates for 2022 video I mentioned because I give you a full overview there. But Google is adding timer and stopwatch chips that you can use for class activities to track how long a part of an activity took or show students how much time is remaining. In order to use these similar to the other chips, you will type at timer or at stopwatch within a Google doc and you will see that option appear. And then finally, we have voting chips. These are not available yet, but they are coming in the next few months. These will be a way to gather feedback in real time. And similar to the timer and stopwatch chips, you will type at voting in order to access these. Now we are moving on to Google Slides and Google Meet features. I'm lumping them together because some of the features use both of them. Now the first feature is just for Google Meet. It is hand raise gesture detection. And the good news is this will be available for all Google 
Google Workspace for Education users. This feature, again, is AI powered. Essentially, when you physically raise your hand in a Google Meet, it will automatically trigger the hand raise icon to go up and it will move you to the main grid. Now, this will be rolling out in the coming months, but whether you meet with students through Google Meet or even just coworkers, I think this is a fantastic feature and will make all of our lives that much easier because you know, hopefully no more hand raise that are just left up because the student forgot to lower it. The next few features are improvements for the teaching and learning upgrade, as well as Education Plus users. The first improvement is being able to see speaker notes when presenting Google Slides in a Google Meet. This is exactly what it sounds like if you are presenting slides in a Google Meet, you will now have the option to see your speaker notes. That will give you an opportunity to have extra notes to reference without allowing anyone else to see those notes. The second improvement, and again, I'm super excited for this one, is the opportunity to co-present with slides. This feature will allow two or more people to manage slides together when presenting. This means they can advance the slides or play videos, they can have animations appear, but they can do it at the same time, or rather both have control over the option to do that. This feature will be rolling out in the coming months. The the final improvement I want to mention within Google Meet is the availability to add closed captions in Meet recordings. You will have the option to add captions in English, French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish to your Meet recordings with more languages coming later this year. And finally, we are moving on to a Google Chrome feature, which is reading mode. In my Google Chrome hacks for teachers video, I mentioned the side panel where you can access your reading list and bookmark within Google Chrome. They are gonna be adding a customizable reader view to this side panel. Basically, this reader view will reduce distracting elements such as images or videos to help you focus on the primary content. You can also customize settings such as the typeface, font size, color of the font, as well as the background color. This is a huge feature to make reading more accessible for those with learning differences, especially those with dyslexia. So not only will this be a powerful tool for educators, but also for parents who want to support struggling readers. That is it. Please let me know down in the comments, what feature are you most excited for? I think mine is the custom building blocks, but that's just because I love a good template. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited, please give Give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.